In this lesson, we'll finish setting up our facial controls. So we're going to establish parent controls for each section of the brow. We don't want the animator to just move each of these controls separately for posing. Why not give them group controls for each section so we can pose these out a lot faster? So we'll use our text tool for this. Let's go to the Create Panel and get to our text tool. And for the upper brows, we can use a U. For the lower brows, we can use an L. If you wanted to get more specific, you could type out the word, but I don't think that's necessary. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and create a U. Create that in the scene. Come out of the tool for now. Go ahead and center the pivot on this. And from here, we can go ahead and rotate the shape. We'll go ahead and uh, switch this to Effect Object Only. And just rotate that, again with Angle Snap. And then rotate it up negative 90 degrees. All right, from here, we can go ahead and align this to the center of the brow. Okay, that's where we'd want it to pivot from, not the corners. So I'll go ahead and just snap right to that envelope object. And there we have it. That actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, so with it selected, we can go ahead and scale this down. I'll zoom in. Bring that in a little bit more. And go back to the hierarchy panel, choose effect object only, and then bring the shape up. So we can leave the pivot exactly where it's at. and make it easy to select. Okay, great. So that looks good. You can always, with that selected, go ahead and rename it. That's gonna be GC underscore L underscore brow zero one. Let's go ahead and clone this. Rename it. Making it a copy, we'll hit okay and snap that to the right side. All right, so from here we can definitely recolor this. Do the same for the other one. There we have it. So we have those controls set up. We can go ahead and create the lower parent controls. So going back to the create panel, our text tool, we'll create an L. And again, can go ahead and center the pivot, rotate the shape around 180 degrees, rotate it up negative 90 degrees, move that into position, just snap it to our mid control on the left side. Scale this down. And then from there, we can go ahead and choose effect object only and bring this out. And up a little bit higher. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. If you wanted to, you can also scale it down just a little bit more. Just turn that off and kind of scale it in. And then move it out. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. Even though it's lying right on top, we've moved it out in a way where you can still quickly get to the other controls with no problem. All right, so I'll just recolor this. Rename it. That's uh, CC underscore left or L brow skin zero one. Okay, I'll clone this one. Rename it and snap. Alright, so there we have it. We have these controls set up. We'll actually go ahead and rename the the top ones to CC instead of GC. And that they're shapes. Okay, so now that this is done, we need to work on uh, linking. So 
first things first, let's go ahead and link our envelope helpers to their controls. Go ahead and bring back the, or slide over the top bar so we can get to our link tool and take care of this step. And we can work on the right side. Just a few more. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is link the controls to their parent control. We'll actually select this one really quick and recolor that. There we go. All right, so now can go ahead and work on that so we'll go ahead and select these lower controls and link to the L on the right side the upper controls to the U do the same thing here and the lower controls to the L and the upper controls to the U okay great all right, what's next? The next thing we want to do is go ahead and take these, these parent controls and parent them right to the head bone. So that as we move them around again, there will be no separation. I'll actually hide the character, keep it frozen, selecting our parent controls. Let's go ahead and link them. All right. So now that this step is done, of course, we want to now freeze our controls. Let's select each of them. And with them all selected, we can go ahead and alt right click, choose freeze transform. Give max a second and there we have it. All right, so now if we were to select our head control and start to move that around, notice they're going to stay. And again, we won't be locking any of these because we want to have the ability to scale them. We might be able to create some fun shapes that way. All right, but there we have it. So we have completed setting up our controls here we could always add them to their layer. So starting with the control objects, I'll go ahead and hide that layer. We can select these parent controls and add them. And then go to the next controls. Go ahead and add those. And then of course for the envelopes, we'll go ahead and add that to the envelope layer. All right. Looks like we have this top nub we can go ahead and hide in the objects to hide. There we have it. So we shouldn't see anything when we hide our layers. Of course we have the uh, association curves, but all right, everything is taken care of now. So again, that finishes up our facial controls. We have one more task to do before we get into enveloping and that's to rig the arms. So I'll go ahead and bring back the character and in the next lesson we can go ahead and start on that next step.